What's up, guys? Thanks for stopping by. Hope you're doing good. Tonight, we're continuing with our Valheim Mountain Caves playthrough. And where we left our Mountain Man character was with a car full of iron ready to ship home to make our last bit of gear, hopefully, that we're going to need before exploring the mountain caves. Um... <clears throat> Although, let's we'll see how we get on with that. Um, Thanks, Bevo. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. Um. Whatever, that's fine. Take those free cores. Ready for mountains yet? Should be. To see how we get on. Or oh, it should be soon, rather. I'm taking some iron back. So we can make like full set of iron gear. And see how we get on with just that and frost potions. What's up, Ellie? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. Thanks for stopping by, Ninja. I hope you're doing good, dude. Yes, the L. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. Did you find a big enough mountain last stream? I haven't finished which is in the last VOD yet. Uh, we still... We didn't end up fully exploring that mountain, so we still don't really know if it's big enough, to be honest. I decided that we would make some iron gear instead. So we're just taking the iron back now. So we'll do that, make the gear, and then we'll head back. Well, we should be able 
to uh, find a mountain cave on tonight's stream now. Looks like it's probably worth going around this way. And the ocean is pretty, pretty rough. Yeah, that wolf was kind of annoying. The thing is, usually on a speed run, right? We're just running past everything, aren't we? So that's what I'm used to. But we actually need to explore the mountain a bit more than that. <laughs> So we might as well make it a bit easier on ourselves because there's no rush, is there? We've killed the first three bosses. I want to head in to hopefully check out mountain caves and then we'll see how we feel after like I want to see how, depending on how long it takes us to make the new armor and weapons, I might decide to kill the last two bosses as well. We'll see. It just depends. What's up, Raccoon? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good, buddy. Hopefully the wind changes a little bit. Yeah, we might just decide to wrap up when we actually make the armor. And the claws. Because honestly, the thing that makes me not so sure if I want to beat your Gloth normally on this playthrough without speedrun strats is whether I want to do cauldron upgrades. Yeah. Oh, the wind change. Nice. Yeah, sometimes it feels like Thor just waits. You need 
That's all you need to make a nice long trip. And then he creates an epic storm for you. Point objectives, we're heading back to base with a load of iron and we're going to make a full set of iron gear and then start exploring the mountain caves and, and start working on making the new armor. Yeah, it's going to be cool to get into the caves. Yeah, there's quite a lot of hair though in the caves. <laughs> True raccoon. You know, we could stop and put a portal down real quick. Because we don't have a portal to the trader right now, which it's probably not going to matter, but just in case I change my mind, decide to spend more time on this character. We want the trader. I think we should do it because we're going to regret it if we decide we want the belt.
get wrecked. <laughs> The belt is worth it when you have the coins on a normal playthrough, but it's not necessarily worth it for me. It's only really going to be worth it if we're going to be looking around a lot of ore and stuff. So it kind of depends on what I decide I'm going to actually do on this playthrough. I've still not decided. Like I might just grind for... The new armor set and that's sort of it. But if I decide to do all the bosses and we're not doing the speedrun strats. Now we're going to want some more stuff. Let's just put an R on it. <laughs> so we don't get confused. But yeah, generally when you normally play the games, that it's always worth going for the belt. You should when you play normally you are You are just going to be carrying a lot of stuff. just realized my base is on the opposite side of the island. What were we thinking? Could have explored the other way. Serpent. Hmm. Are we worth trying to go for this guy? Iron head arrows will actually do okay. What's up, Jonathan? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good, dude.
I should have got some extra iron, really. Just for the new cooking station. No, it's so typical that the wind's going against us. Basically, in this scenario. See, all right, we got him. Nice. Well, so that demon, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. It can be really annoying when they run away if they go against the wind or something like that. We find another one. We don't really like. <laughs> I don't know. Might run out of arrows. Well, the reason I went for this is that maybe. If we go for lox meat and serpent stew and then like just some cloud berries or something like that maybe we can have a decent health decent enough health and stamina pool to fight your gloss normally maybe When you go back to speedruns of Valheim, will you be doing a different category or looking to improve further on your existing time in the same category? Um, I'll be playing the same category, trying to improve my time until I get sub five hours, probably. Um, but the main reason I want to run the same category now is just to run it. after mountain caves and see if we can uh, <clears throat> eventually figure out some new strats but it might take a little while but I'm kind of expecting to discover some new strats eventually if we keep running the latest patch I 
Um, yeah. Well, we probably, uh, oh, excuse me, we probably will run at, uh, some new game plus or something soon as well. But yeah, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know about all the categories yet. Like, I do kind of want to grind for sub 5. That was sort of the plan. That's what I was trying to do before Elden Ring, so... Yeah, I'm mostly just yeah curious about the mountain segment now. It's interesting because mountain caves, it's going to be really weird because it's definitely going to be one of them things where it, it could wind up making no difference to most runs, but on a certain run, it could actually be super clutch. We honestly just don't know yet. I'm trying to think like what other category would even be like that anywhere near as fun to run like it's such a fun category that we run it's the one everybody runs uh, everybody wants to run really we're probably uh excuse me but we're probably yeah we are on the way home we're probably more likely to to end up doing start working on the next challenge video live on stream before we run another category because that's going to be I, I, I clearly need to get some more Elden Ring videos out whilst the game is new um, and there is a video I want to get out for Valheim about Mountain Caves but, you know, once all that is done, I'm going to want to get another Valheim Challenge video out. And, uh, you know, there's no re the, that whole process takes a while. So, honestly, the timing might be pretty good to, you know, once we've got another decent time, 
and a fresh character runs. The timing might be pretty good to just work on, move on to the next challenge video. Because it'll take us a while to figure the challenge out. So there's, there's no harm in me getting that footage, start getting that footage banked. Whilst I'm working on editing other videos for Elden Ring. You know what I mean? Like in my head, there's basically, I want to make, there's, you know, a couple of more Elden Ring guides. I think people just want guides for that game, a lot of guides for that game, because it, obviously it's really complicated and hard. And, and obviously I'll be one of working on the speedruns for that game soon as well. But somewhere between all that, I want to make a video that's sort of like some tips and tricks about related to mountain caves that people might not know. Please don't tell me it goes all the way around like that. No, that, that's the other way, isn't the other direction. Um, yeah, and then once we've got the ball rolling with Elder Ring speedrun content, and we've got a, a, good, a, a good time down for this speedrun again. I want another big Valheim challenge video. And then after that, I'll be starting my El first Elder Ring challenge video, probably. But all everything I just said, you know, it could take months. So. But we've got a shitload of content planned. Once you play through with your character, the Elder Rings, will you try play through with more strength build or something else? I want to. But I'm not so sure. Um, well, it's probably easier for me to just tell you what my actual plan is. Someone has a route and someone has a run up on YouTube. It's two and a half hours. Pretty, it's impressive. It's definitely unoptimized. But he did it without dying. And it's pretty good. It's a, it's a, in fact, that the guy deserves a lot of respect for getting the first run up on YouTube. Because he, he has put in more work than anyone else I've seen. Or at least he did at the day of posting. Like, there's, there's, there's like gonna be probably hundreds of runners working on this, on the, Elder Ring run. Oh, can I? Fuck. I think it's going to be easier to just make a cart chat. So anyway, that guy has a route that uses basically a strength build. Um... It's a bit, it gets a bit weird at some point in the run. Um, but like, it's good. So I will probably at some point try his strats. But my thought process, what I'm sort of thinking about is like, I kind of, uh, right now i sort of feel like bleeds are so p powerful that um you know maybe wait where are my nails bro There we go. Basically, you, 
one of the craziest things you can do build wise or really uh to get through th certain bosses really fast in elden ring and i wish i knew this when i started the game but um if you start with samurai Um, obviously you start with the Uchi, which is awesome for bleed. You can literally, <laughs> this is like, this is crazy chat. You, you can run straight to the Uchi spawn that's out in the world right from the beginning of the game and I get dual Uchi. So you have twice the bleed, you know, like my character, the bleed rate that my character can do right now that we're playing with today. You can basically wind up with twice the build rate from the very start of the game. You know, plus you can start with, with a spirit that can do bleed too. Like we used in the market speed run. So my, I, I have a, I my uh, the, you know this is all going to change it will all be wrong at the, at the early stages of the run right it's all going to be a, a big iterative process but my idea for a speedrun route would be to go samurai and go jewel uchi and do kind of like a dex build and uh figure out what from that guy's existing route we can skip So, um, my point is, uh, when I'm done with my, probably before I'm done with my casual play for Elden Ring, I might, I'll, I'll be starting run, like, to figuring out the speed run with, with a strength build and with a dex build, most likely. But as for doing, like, another playthrough, I want to. I'm not sure yet. Definitely off stream. What's up, Abdul Aziz? Thanks for stopping by. Hope you're doing good, dude. I'm doing great, thanks. But just in general, anyway, just for playing casually, yeah, I would like to try a strength build. I would like to try a magic build. I definitely would like to do a character where we go for all the dragon sorceries because they seem so cool. Honestly, some kind of like Paladin-esque build where you basically just eat full tank strength build but with incantations would probably be completely insane because there is some wild incantations. They're kind of hard to unlock though, but 
still. Well, I don't know if anyone knows the speedrunner Waifu, but I know he's been routing the game with sorceries. Specifically, which makes total sense. They're kind of OP against a lot of bosses. Um... We're gonna want a lot of coal. Wait, let's wait. Our spawn should be set right. Yeah, we're, we're all Gucci. We made it. I think there's just two entrance styles. One that looks kind of like a troll cave, and then one with kind of like the stalactites and stalagmites and stuff outside. I was wondering what you was asking, Joe, and I just remembered. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, that was a weird one. We shouldn't have too long until we can sleep again, so this is why I thought we would do this. Instant 50. All. Perfect. Must have burnt my tongue on my coffee early without even noticing. Just seems like I did, but I don't remember actually doing it.
Okay. Might as well just put that there for now. So, in the meantime... I haven't collected any dandelions ever. It would have been nice to have bumped into a planes. Because a little bit of barley wine would go a long way, I think, but I guess, uh, we wanted to speed things up a little bit. We could. Potentially. Oh, perfect. Um, ah, shit. We need chains, don't we, though? Oh, we can do that. We've got a portal, haven't we? Yeah, we've got two chains there. Right, let's get some chains. Oh, we can't actually do a shield now, even. It's so nice being able to type a number in that box. <laughs> Two chains. thing is if we just wait till night time we and we just kill wraiths with the bonfire we are a lot faster so i don't know if we necessarily need to do that right now um i think what we actually do is wait uh we wait and we stack wood that's what we do so that we can get the next set of coal on again
And I suppose there's nothing to stop us exploring. But all this for, for our planes or something. We go through our other portal to the swamp. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Press the wrong button. I guess we could go and see if we can. It should be, it should be this part raccoon. Could be. Oh, we just got a chain. Yeah, I was going to say we've killed so many of them. That was nice and easy. I have tried the claws, yeah. I, I tried it all on the test server, just using dev commands and stuff to test it out. This is my first time doing a playthrough since the update to do it all naturally. Yeah, anyway, about the the Elden Ring thing, about diff different runs, different builds. I think it makes sense for me to actually just just learn and try and copy like the, what the first run does that, that's up on YouTube to get started. And that is a strength build, so I probably will do some kind of speedy, not quite a speed run, but as fast as possible my ability Grenfield soon yeah I, it is a little bit disappointing that the claws are literally just punch it the same thing as punching but you know a bit more powerful <laughs> we actually have kind of the perfect amount there so let, let's get a load of stone because we can now put another smelter up speed this process up 13 
Uh, we're going to go with iron armor. See how we get on with that. Hello, what's up, Patane? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good, dude. Can we do, like, the most scuff thing ever? this might just work I don't know no maybe let's just put one outside Yeah, let's put a half outside actually. Do that. It's good, thanks for team. Thanks for asking. I hope you're doing good as well, dude. Thanks for stopping by the stream, everybody. This could be a nice little spot. Yeah, that's pretty nice. What's up, Alexandra? Let's stop and buy. Hope you're doing good. serpent that would be bad Might have to cannibalize the boat mats a little. Nice.
Thanks a lot for the follow on Twitch. Megan. Illustrator. Okay. Thanks for the follow, dude. I hope you're doing good, dude. Doing a nice day. Oh, fuck. I think we burnt Serpent. Just made it. Phew. Oh, nice emote, dude. Yep, just in time. Um, okay. So far, so good, chat. Is it? Um Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need like sixty-three coal. Things aren't not good together. Going together pretty good, rather. It's not too bad. I don't know what else to see with this guy. Since it's such an annoying spot, uh, definitely try and move that. Really, you, you kind of want. Part way for the ore facing you. So when you're over encumbered, got less distance to travel.
All right, nice. One, two, three. Nice, nice, nice. This has worked out pretty good. The armor set does actually look pretty good, doesn't it? This has got to be nearly ready now as well. The hell, it just kind of like an egg. Rue. I thinking oh what else was I gonna use I guess we could. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm going to try and skip silver and see how it goes. At least for exploring the caves. Yeah, there is sign there. We'll have we'll we'll have ten left over. So we need another ten. We don't need it. Like I'm gonna try and see how we get on with just the iron mace for now. I was thinking about initially getting a silver sword, but so we're actually all good now. This is essentially what I'm going to at least try and use to start exploring. So... What we should do is uh, 
We're gonna need some Great Wolf Eyes if we wanna do another portal. So what I'm thinking is Yeah, we could do a lot well we're not going we're leaving this island yet. But yeah, we will we'll, we'll with the spare iron we'll do a long boat. Uh, it is a good idea. But I was just trying to think, yeah, let's. Let's get enough mats and stuff. We get a portal going near this mountain. And a bonfire. And let's go and explore this one for now. The soundtrack stopped. I thought it was supposed to be on repeat. Unable to play, there are no songs. Unable to play, there are no songs. Freaking. All right, let, let's put in game music on. app that I use to play music in the background on the stream is just shit in the bed. Doesn't matter. Oh, Cloaky. Something's been going on recently, by the way, where sometimes my Patreon notifications don't go off while like on stream. But I've just seen it. I can re I can re-trigger it. Cloaky. Thanks so much. Loki, thank you so much, absolute legend. Thanks for becoming a patron and helping support the content and keeping the dream alive, bro. I really appreciate that. You're absolute legend. Absolute legend. Thanks so much, dude. Really appreciate that. Took the plunge. Hell yeah. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Really appreciate the support. Grey Dwarfs to see. Need to kill some Grey Dwarfs.
Any mods installed? Not for this playthrough, no. I'll be doing a challenge run with some mods. Or with a specific mod. Uh, sometime within the next few weeks. Well, not few weeks, maybe. Relatively soon, let's say. Thanks, question mark. Thanks for stopping by the stream, dude. I hope you're doing good. I am doing great. Thanks for asking. Oh, thanks, Cloak. That's really nice of you to say, but I really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. I'll never stop thanking you guys, though, because it's such a big deal to me, you know. Be able to keep doing this. I love it. Thanks a lot for the sub. On YouTube, Sylvie. Hope you're doing good. It would be great if we got a cave on this mountain. <laughs> Is there a way to find the first boss faster? Find the first boss instantaneously. You've just got to click the red glowing stone at the right at the side of you at that spawn and it reveals the location of it. I think it's we left it connected didn't we but we can't call that home actually can we Question mark, thank you so much for becoming a YouTube member and supporting the content, keeping the dream alive, bro. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much for the support, dude. That really helps. Thanks, bud. I'll be doing a new members only video soon. Might record it tomorrow. I had so much fun on today's Elden Ring stream, guys. This stream has been fun too, but... We made so much progress, didn't we, today in Elden Ring. Kind of epic. Thanks, question mark. I appreciate that, dude. You're very welcome. I love doing this stuff. And it really makes me happy that people enjoy it and get something out of it.
Hell yeah. Right, strats. Teleport, die, sleep, eat clear, cross potion. Come on, Frost Caves. Uh, the, my main goal is to just make the new armor and claws. Kill the first three bosses. We might kill more bosses. Well, just depends. I haven't decided what all the goals are yet, to be honest. there is a cave it will be down here I don't think there is but we managed to explore it pretty cleanly so Could have bought brought the wishbone, but Have more mountains over there.
Let's keep exploring mountains now, chat. We'll find one eventually. I mean, I'm wondering if we, considering this one didn't have it. I mean, I suppose this one's also pretty close, isn't it? But, in fact, there's also a mountain over here. But I, I say we basically make sure we fully explore the island we're on, because obviously that will be ideal. But... We can guarantee finding mountain caves, probably. Just by sailing around and waiting for a big mountain. I kind of tempted to just maybe do that right away. Uh, yeah, I was kind of tempted to do that right away. It honestly might be the easiest way to find them. I mean, I'm just guessing. We need deer, actually. Check this real quick. That's empty. I still need a couple deer hides. Guys, leave me alone, please.
Okay. Yep. The anti caves are in the game. I've been for a few days now. Right, long ship. Yeah, it is so relaxing. That's a great piece of music. It really is. Thanks for stopping by the stream, Seth. Anyway, I hope you're doing good, dude. We should just head west as well, that's what we should do. Um, Farm some ancient bark real quick. Yeah, I think I've decided what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sail in a straight line. beard i need to trim my beard i need to i keep planning on getting up and shaving my head and trimming my beard but i keep forgetting
Thanks for watching the stream, you guys. I really appreciate it. What the fuck? Did that actually give me like no agent bot basically? Sometimes the drop rate is so trees in this game was brutal. That's rude, guys. Typical skeletons, always vandalizing. Okay. gonna need some more firewood aren't we the portals yeah caves are in the game now don't really need to repair stuff but we can actually some more fire arrows real quick that's plenty actually let's get some fine wood for portals and then we'll set off looking big mountain that should pretty much guarantee finding mountain caves I mean it's not 100% for sure but I don't know like probably the fastest most consistent way to make sure we're not completely wasting our time is just to check big ones
Okay, let's go. Not a bad little base. All things considered. Let's go. Head west. Look for a giant mountain. Well, so near lost. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good, dude. You're doing great. Thanks for asking. Wanted to let you know you are helping me go through hard times, so thank you. Oh, you're very welcome there, Lost. I'm glad it helps. But it helps, bro. That makes me. Well, it doesn't make me happy that you're going through hard times, but it means a lot to me. That we can help people. It gives it all meaning, you know? To make a difference in someone's day, like... It, it makes it not just about me, you know? That means a lot. Thanks for, thanks for telling me that. And, uh... Yeah, I, I hope... Uh, Hope you come out on the other end of whatever you're going through as smoothly as possible, dude. appreciate that dude I will I will do I'll work my hardest at both those things thanks a lot for the sub on YouTube roll I appreciate that bud I hope you're doing good Guess we could just go with the wind. I'm doing good, thanks, Edge of Clay. Thanks for asking. Thanks for watching the stream, dude. I hope you're doing good as well.
Oh, nice. Are you enjoying the update? Where are we sailing to? We're just sailing to look for a big mountain to search for caves. That's what we're doing. So we can start working on the new armor. Those mountains over there are too small, really. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of why I wanted to just start a new game and just kind of rush to it. Because, uh... To make things a bit more interesting than just destroying them. <laughs> Is that? No, that's a cloud. A silhouette. Yeah. Yeah, I have played them a load on the test server. Definitely can overwhelm you, that's for sure. We never tried that on the test there. We definitely need to do that. We're not having trouble finding mountains. It's reassuring chat. Hopefully that means it's a matter of time until we find a nice thick one. A thick boy. Yeah, I'm going to be figuring out Mountain Cave strats for the speedrun. Uh, after with this playthrough, basically. I'm really excited to experiment with stuff for that.
one is gonna be a nice big mountain game yeah i mean i don't uh, it yeah we we won't we won't be making it in a fresh character speed run we won't be making any armor still but yeah so we just don't need it but that armor definitely be useful for new game plus though could be worth swinging by this planes even if it's just to grab some cloud berries I actually think we need more HP for us to be resistant here. It's a bit of a tough shot with a crude bow. God, really? There you go. Keep cloud berries. Just in case, put this down. It's probably not even worth checking this mountain, is it? Could be worth trying to kill these locks. Whoa. They just leapfrogged. No back seating, please, in the chat. was some power range this shit i agree
Thanks a lot for the raid. Tilda Rudy, I appreciate it. Hope you had a good stream. Nice. Oh, we got it. It's going good, thanks. How you doing? What is with these locks? They're like acrobats. They just keep continuously leapfrogging each other. Valheim a lot. Could say that, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Where did the other locks disappear to? I just run off. Thanks for the follow, Tilda Rudy. We're doing good, dude. Nah, it's not really planned, no loss. Uh, it's probably gonna be a while until I, like, that I up my resolution. Because I have no plans to do that. Like, I don't even think back green PC and stuff would even be able to handle it anyway. Plus I still actually only game in 1080p so it's kind of pointless right now. But maybe one day. So, so much stuff for doing computers is so expensive. I really just hope I don't have to buy anything new for a, a long time. Oh my god, the diamond. Where am I from? I don't think it really matters, but I'm from England.
Oh my god, we just made it through. Wait, I didn't get its meat or anything. Let's go and look for that in a second. What's the difference if you don't know shit about the country, though? <laughs> I, li I live in Leeds. But I'm from Lancashire. I don't think like England's really any different to America with accents, to be honest with you. I think it's just some Americans are so ignorant about geography that they think that everywhere in the UK is England. Because really, the difference between like North, South, or like someone from Manchester or London or Liverpool, it's only like you know, New Yorkers have an accent, people from Boston have an accent. You know, there's even in America, there's like North and South, sort of slightly different accents. You know what I mean? Look, there's, there's, it's probably the same, I would have guessed, in a lot of. Um, you know, non-English speaking countries, it's just I, I don't know because I don't I only speak English. Yeah, that's <laughs> true, Nathan. And I love America and Americans, but I'm just saying it's my been my experience kinda. Oh, it's a generalization. A oh, Liverpool accent, interesting. Right. Let's continue to the search of for mountain anyway. Pretty much got what we wanted out of that. Yeah. 
All right, that was a nice little dip into the plains. Got some good meat. Got some cow berries. <laughs> That's what I heard, Nathan. But yeah, he, he, uh, to be fair, like, even a lot of English people can't tell, like, every accent. But uh, again, I feel like it's not really that unique to England. And like I said, because I, I can tell, I can tell lots of different parts of America, you know, accent wise. You know, definitely not all of them, but a lot. And like, even from watching like a couple of Canadian streamers and stuff, you can kind of tell the difference a little bit. I, I'm not, I don't, I couldn't really tell you the parts that they're from, but you can tell the difference between some Canadian accents a little bit. I've start just starting to be able to tell that. It's like a couple just from watching some can Canadian people a lot. Kind of similar with Australia, I guess, as well. Like, it can kind of tell there's like a couple of differences to me in that, if you know what I mean. So, I would just assume that it's probably the same for a lot of countries, especially if they're really big countries. Or, I guess, really old countries, because England's not big, but it is really old. So, like, we got like a lot of. Uh, history and culture in each city that is kind of been a lot of time for people to develop different ways of talking if that makes sense I, I don't know I'm just guessing just guessing But I'm not really from a place in England, nor do I live in a place in England that's known to have a specific accent. You know, it, more like people would just say it was a northern accent or like if they're a northerner, they'd, they'd be able to tell the difference between a Lancashire and a Yorkshire accent up to like the two main northern counties. But I think pretty much anyone that's not, you know, from Lancashire or Yorkshire doesn't even give a fuck about being able to tell the difference between the two. But Lancashire and Yorkshire people count for sure. It's actually really weird because there's not that much of a difference. My mum was saying just the other day she went to some museum in York. And the lady that worked there said like, oh my god, uh, I... It's nice to hear someone's voice from Lancashire. I've not heard it in a long time because, you know, she was telling her that she was from there and this and that. And I thought it was kind of a weird thing to say. It's like something that I don't really... I've lived here for... I've lived in Yorkshire for... I don't know, since 2008. I don't think about it. I don't care. We all talk the same kind of up north anyway. <laughs> it's not like... You know, you can, I could tell the difference, but I thought I thought that was kind of interesting that someone said that. Come for the Valheim stayed for world language lessons. True, Montreal, Canada, over here. Very sound too nice. 
Yeah, I'd love to go to Canada one day. We're, we're looking for a really big mountain because it's just going to increase the odds of us finding one of the new caves. So I'm kind of just sailing around in a straight line looking for a big mountain. Just so we don't waste time looking at little piddly mountains and don't find a cave. Yeah, you can tell the difference, yeah. I think like the closer you are to the area, you're more likely you are to be able to tell the difference. Oh, really? Yeah, I've heard a couple of people say it took a long time to find a cave. That's kind of why I'm doing this. That mountain looks like it might be better than some of the other places we've seen so far. It doesn't look great for it, but... I think I have some, uh, like, distant relatives in Canada. Like, you know, quite, uh, I don't know, like, not like relatives, but you know, like, well, I don't know what the right word is. Um, I guess distant relatives. But you know when, when people do, like, Ancestry.com and stuff like that? Like lots of English people find they've got um, people over in Canada because obviously English people were some of the first people to, to live there. Because I know my, my nan used to, uh, well I think she still is, kind of like pen pals with a Canadian. That they found out they were related. That's actually quite common, I believe. And I know for sure that the on my the, my dad's side, there was a raw cliff that was one of the uh, I think one of the first people to go to America, like you know to colonize or whatever you call it you know like one of the early boats i can't remember if it's america or canada though but i think he i know what one of them at least died i remember reading about that but yeah it's quite common i think for english people to have relatives in north america in general like distant relatives Oh yeah? You're in the U US, right, Kit? Yeah, this definitely looks like a better mountain. It's the best mountain. It doesn't look like the best mountain ever, but it looks like the best mountain we've seen so far. Easily. So I think we check it. Because we're kind of running out of road. <laughs> Nice. Thanks a lot for the sub, Frannick. I appreciate that on YouTube. Hope you're doing good, bud. Oh, you're French. Nice. I've been to France. When I was a kid. Went to Disneyland.
Uh, just Disneyland Paris when I was a little kid. I think that's the only time I've been. This was a long time ago. Double check we've got a spawn in the right place. As a child, we lived in Newbury. My father was in the Air Force. Oh, interesting. I don't even know where any of those places are. <laughs> but, yeah. Down south, I'm guessing. Alright, let's go, chat. Mountain caves. Yes, please. It's looking promising. Oh, the why is there two? One at a time, please. Oh, this is going to suck. Oops, no. Oh, so close. Wait, what happened to my... No. What happened to my spear? Maybe I lost it. Oh, fog. Quick, save me. Cave, save me. Oh my god. We made it, chat. We freaking made it. Now, we're definitely not prepared. <laughs> Really? Okay, you save. Hell yeah. Um, I'm trying to think like me. Maybe we should try and bring the portal to the, to the gates of the cave.
It would make things a lot easier. You can't place a workbench inside a cave. to be easier to unequip this like now we know where we're going it's like not really as much for a problem is it oh fuck me go run Run! Oh my god, dude. I'm gonna have to relock. Where is it? At least we made it to the caves. There it is. Oh my god. We did it. Okay. Um I was I guess I was thinking like yeah, what what can We don't have... I think we do have three iron somewhere. Right? Yes. Hell yeah. Coal apparently. One coal. Two coal. <laughs> Alright, there we go. I know what you mean, old guy. The anxiety definitely sets in when you, when you destroy your portal, doesn't it? Um. Yes, yeah, so we need to rebuild the cooking station. And then I, I think we... You know... Maybe we could even cook that. Um. Then we can cook some lox meat, you know. 
And then we can go serpent, lox meat, wolf meat, something like that. In fact, no. Cloudberry. Serpent, lox meat. That's what we do. We'll stand a much better chance, won't we? Pretty sure that Barberry does more than Queen's Jam, stamina wise. Boy. Yeah, it's the same. It has a higher, yeah. Higher tick. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Barberry is too valuable for making potions. That's why I use on the speed run all the time. It's so good. It's absolutely OP. It's actually OP, to be honest. <laughs> Technically, the Queen's Jam is still better because it gives you an H, a 2 HP tick, but, you know, <laughs> the, the, uh, 1 HP tick difference isn't really that noticeable. But plus, you know, it's literally for, for free, so it's pretty drastic. Um, all right, let's do this. This has worked out pretty good. We're, we're, rel we're relatively prepared. Oh my god, we just parried a bat. I didn't even know that was a thing. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. That's so funny. Hell yeah. Let's go, chat. So far, so good. They will spawn in your existing game. Yeah, you just have to. They'll, they'll only spawn in an area of the map that you haven't discovered yet. So you just have to go to like, you know, one of the grayed out parts of the map for you to find one, find a mountain in one of those areas. You'll be Gucci. You're welcome, Crusade. Thanks for stopping by the stream, bro.
Thanks for the follow, Steve. Steve can evil like that name. Doing good, mate. Oh shit, they stand up so quickly actually. Or oh, I could maybe get a jump on him. trophy so that's good level one iron mace chat level one iron mace <laughs> like it's just it is the most cost efficient weapon in the entire game because it is actually kind of nuts And that is why it's used on the speedrun. <laughs> Sometimes. Whoa, bro. Back up, back up. Where? What? This, this, where? They're coming from upstairs and downstairs. How is that allowed? Oh, fuck. I definitely went the wrong way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god. I think we're dead now. Oh my god, what? Yeah, Crystal is definitely easier. That they all of a sudden just came out of everywhere. That was crazy. Now this is going to be a fun corpse run. I don't. It is nice. It is nice. I need to figure out exactly where I went. Well, it definitely wasn't that way. Kind of lost now, chat. Like I know this is where I just died. But is this where I was before? I feel like it wasn't.
Ah, it can't be. Did that. We went this way. Yeah, we went. Hmm. Maybe I did go in there. Or did I go up here? I don't really remember going up. Maybe I am in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah, I am on her. Yikes. Nah, I'll just have to start doing some strats, bro. I'm in casual mode right now. Okay. No, 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 no. It's fine. Why are you asking me if I'm angry? I'm not angry. Not my first rodeo guys i can tell trolls from a mile off i've been doing this for years i'm always right a hundred percent of the time <laughs> when it comes to the, when I, whenever i don't ban someone i when i have a suspicion my suspicion is a hundred percent proved correct so i always do the best moderation when i don't hesitate 
We'll just carry on having a good time. This, I went the wrong way again, didn't I? We want to go this way, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> that piece of coal or something Ugh. I've got this now anyway. I want to carry some random junk. In fact, I can turn auto pick off off. No, I've not done it. Right, we're back in business. We just need to take it slow. Because it seems that as you walk through, you will aggro any of them that you haven't already aggroed. If that makes sense. That's what seems to happen. Looks like we found a big juicy one on our first visit, so that's cool. Oh no, don't get stuck in here again. If we're gonna die, at least make it out the door.
Alright. Yeah, they do look really cool, don't they? Oh, we had a cooldown on our health potion then. Should have maybe waited. Not really going too bad, all things considering. Three cultists in a row feels pretty unlucky. I don't think that's normal, is it? I seem to remember killing like the occasional cultist on a test server. Jeep, bro. Let's go. We're doing this. Hell yeah, chat. It's pretty good going so far, I think. This is the mountain caves. It is available to the public now. Has been for a few days at least. Well, over a week now, right? I think. Hell yeah. Yeah. So the, the mountain caves will appear in mountains and parts of the map that you haven't explored. So if you go to one of the grayed out areas have not been to yet and discover a, a mountain, even on your old map, mountain caves will be there looks this is like by far the most elaborate dungeon type in the game now isn't it as it should be because it's like the second to last biome at the minute isn't it i think that's awesome Yeah, I think that I have a, a hunch they are working on dungeons for planes and or mislands. I have a hunch. So 
So it's, it's not too bad doing it with just level 1 iron gear. Um, it's definitely brutal when we're facing three cultists, but... Hopefully that's not a normal thing to face three cultists at once. A berserker in a dungeon. Oh my god, that would be big rip. Wait, is this is this the, the bit near this entrance? Yeah, it is. Mistlands is definitely the next big update. There will most likely be something small in between, I would assume. But yeah. Is that this one fully explored? And it seems like it. Oh, a, a, a lot of, like some of the stuff. Um, I have been but working on Miss Lands mostly for a little while now. They kind of divided up, I believe, into some are working on like small updates and some are just entirely focused on Miss Lands. I'm not sure what the actual net I don't I'm not, I don't know if they have actually confirmed what the next big thing is the mistlands placeholder looks different now too not sure if you've seen it yet you mean it's just flat or is it actually different to that I, it looks like that's it doesn't it chat this was a this was a really nice cave this was a really nice cave. Oh, that's not new. Yeah, they did that a while ago. Whoa, that was a weird audio glitch. I don't think I've ever had that. That's probably just the fact that my PC has been on since really early this morning because we've been doing a lot of content today. <laughs> I don't think that's the game. Um. Wow, it's actually such a good thing to go for right away. Uh, we we need three more wolf pelts. I think we can handle that.
The new armor is awesome. I think a lot of people just haven't really sussed out how exactly it's awesome yet. <laughs> but um, I actually did a lot of experimenting with it on the pest surfer and uh, it's actually pretty sick for fighting your cloth with because of the fire resistance and then the fire resistance kind of stacks with the barley wine fire resistance. The added movement speed makes it pretty easy to run out of the way of his attacks and stuff and kind of adds up to be pretty sick. Um, plus, we're literally going from frost resistance here and iron age to just making the uh the jacket that gives frost resistance without ever having to do any silver or trophy grinding or anything for a cape so definitely has a really good place and the uh the gameplay cycle once you get to grips with it So it doesn't deal any damage? What? No, you shouldn't be taking physical damage from Yark anyway. It's just the fire damage that should be the problem with Yark. Every other attack you should be running out of the way of and dodging anyway. So you, you do still take fire damage. It's not possible to not take fire damage because it works completely differently to some of the other status effects. Like it it stacks the longer you're taking fire damage the longer you're in the fire the higher tick rate you get against you oh another golem so like yeah oh that that sounded like it was a wolf right um but it dramatically reduces the tick rate Or was that a skeleton? I think it was a skeleton. That you can actually stand in front. Of, the way you should be doing Yark is with a silver sword. Uh, you want to just go and hit him with a silver sword. That is objectively the best way to do it. Um, still so many guides for this game I should just make based on other YouTubers making bad ones. <laughs> but, so you should be standing in front of him and just hitting him with a silver sword. And uh, doing that, you normally take so much fire damage that you can't get that many hits in. But with the new armor, plus it's plus a barley wine, like, you actually can stand there and get a lot of hits each time. And that... Well, like, I haven't measured it on a speedrun yet. But for a new game plus speedrun, which is the wrong way you actually use, like, all the gear and stuff. Like, it's probably going to greatly in increase. The, sorry, greatly reduce the, the length of time it takes to kill him. Well, if I was, I, I would never do that kind of video because that, that it has been done. But a lot of the stuff 
the, what I'm talking about is like actually what is objectively the best way to do each boss. Is something that there's a lot of misconceptions about. So might as well check this whilst we're here, because why not? Bip. Oh, she's actually pretty close. It's amazing that the wolf, there's wolves everywhere when you don't want them to be, when you're trying to find them. <laughs> God. Where are you going? I thought it'd be like dipping out of that portal, killing a couple of wolves. Pretty much instantaneously. Wait until night time. Something I've realized as well about certain like armor sets and certain items that you, may, you might think is like not that good for whatever reason. Like something I've realized from having a surfer and playing with my community on a surfer and what what people like and what people do is like, you know, there's so many people, you know, that are just like, oh, that looks so cool. I'm just going to use it. And, and I kind of appreciate people like gamers that are like that because that's kind of what like I've done a lot I, I was kind of like that for, for a long time gaming and I still can be depending on what the game is um but 
there's a lot of people in Valheim that just run around in like troll armor because they just think it's cool. <laughs> and it is cool. And both the new armor sets, the last couple of updates with the root armor set and the Fenris armor set, they look so sick. Loads of people are going to be so happy with it. Ooh. All right, we just need one now. The root armor set is just, you know, it's actually kind of insane. It is actually awesome. That is also so. What the these two things actually kind of are similar to me in kind of what is probably going to become what I would do in is sort of a more meta way to play the game because um yeah that's a that's a separate issue cartoon that's definitely true um some people just just prefer to not have the movement speed debuff and the, the movement, that's the other thing that we haven't even brought up. I don't know how people, anyone can be down on the new armor set of how insane the movement buff is. It's actually crazy. 9% increase is nuts. Um, what was the same before that though? But yeah, so, some, some people, yeah, like the debuff is so annoying that they'll just do whatever they can to not have to do it ow thank you golem oh that's what i was saying but yeah like the way that the, the, they're actually kind of similar is that they actually have a lot of utility like root armor has a lot of utility because the helmet Makes you resistant to poison. It's actually a relatively decent poor man's, you know, poison resistance mead even. You know what I mean? It, like, it, it is actually very good at resisting poison for a, a helmet. Um, what the hell just happened then? And, uh, you know, with the chest piece, if you have like over 56 HP or something, you can take a shot from a, a death skito, uh, you know, very low HP wearing nothing else, which is actually very powerful. And then you factor in that the whole set increases your, you know, bow skill by 15 or whatever it is. Like that's actually nuts. Um, but the, the, so what you have to factor in is you, you can't just compare it to padded armor or something. You have to factor in the fact that you can, you know, using fires, basically using our strats, you can, you can kill an abomination in seconds, right? And abominations are actually pretty common. So you can get like a full set of armor so quick and you get all those buffs from it. So it's, so it's more like. But by the time now, like, doing a, a normal, kind of like serious normal playthrough, like, y you can, uh, by the time you're, um, in the swamps, very quickly you can have some really useful stuff going on. Know what I mean? And we literally just proved the same thing with this, right? We just dipped into one. Um.
one cave. And uh, it definitely is not as easy as to deal with as an abomination, of course. But still, we only cleared one. And we now have frost resistance. You know, where, where you think of the, of the capes and stuff, it is actually... It takes more time, really. Thanks a lot for the follow on Twitch, Nick Bell. I appreciate that. Hope you're doing good, mate. Obviously, it depends. Like, it's conceivable RNG-wise. You might be able to do one before the other, but... You know, just look at what's, what we have done here with our playthrough. All I've done is made a couple of backs of frost resistances. We went, we checked out of the starter island, right? Then I just sailed just in this what? In this, we've been streaming for three hours and 20 minutes. During that time, I started over here with my iron, sailed all the way over here, made a full set of iron. Sailed all the way, I, I just kept sailing until I found the biggest mountain because I checked my map starter mountain and it didn't have one. So, because we only cho chose a big mountain, we found it on the first one we looked at and, and then the, out of one cave that we just went in with iron and frost resistant potions we now don't even need to make a cape you know what i mean like that's good and this movement speed increase by the way you know it's actually no, it's not a set effect so like even now with armor iron armor on and stuff i i'm pretty fast like considering you know what i mean that's pretty sweet guys i think it's great i i just think it's not it just takes a little bit of thought and a little bit of getting learning and getting used to to, to realize its full potential but i think that's a good place to leave it for tonight We've officially been going for about 12 hours today. Uh, you know, including my little break that I took. Just under 12 hours. So. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's streams. I know I have. Um, It's been super fun. Tomorrow I'm going to be continuing on. With our Elder Ring playthrough. And with our Valheim Mountain Caves playthrough. Um, yeah, pretty crazy day today that we've done two streams. Back to back with a break in between. For, you know. It's almost the last 12 hours. So. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like. It's a really good way to help me out. That's completely for free. Because it makes it more likely that will show up in the recommended feed. Um. We're going to continue on with our Mountain Caves playthrough. Uh, we're we're going to... Tomorrow, we're going to go do the same thing again. Except we'll be straight looking for another cave. And uh, we're just going to keep going until we have a full set of armor on the claws. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we might do the last two bosses as well. Let's see. But this depends how it goes, chat. Uh, but so far, it's actually working out really good. Uh, I really enjoyed that. Um, so, yeah. I'll be back tomorrow streaming some Elden Ring um, during the day and uh, some Valheim in the evening. How many game days on this one? Uh, is there a way I can actually check? I think there is, right? Um, days, day, time... 35. Um. Oh, nice. Nice, Cloakie. Enjoy. Enjoy. Um, but yeah, tomorrow I'll I'll continue on with Elden Ring during the day and we'll continue with Valheim during the night. And, uh, you know, we're just going to enjoy our Mountain Caves playthrough. But, and once it's done, we'll be back for grinding for world records again in Valheim speedrunning. Um. 
before i go guys i want to remind people the ways that you can support the content financially because it is the financial support of our community that allows me to put so much time into creating content for you guys so if you would like to keep the dream alive for me continuing to make this content for you then the best way you can do that is by supporting on patreon at patreon.com slash nick rawcliffe there is a link in the description or you can do exclamation patreon in the chat patreon allows you to do a monthly donation sort of like a twitch sub except you can do it for any amount of money even as little as one dollar and how it works is for example if you were to subscribe at the one dollar level right now you'll donate one dollar to me right now then you'll be donating one dollar a month on the first of every month from then onwards so you can see your subscription and you can cancel it at any time anyone that becomes a patron also gets invited to join my, my private valheim server that i pay for that runs 24 7 you get to play on there whenever you want with the rest of the community and you also get invited to play valheim with me live on stream when we do server streams and um, the next server stream we'll do pretty soon um we'll be exploring mountain caves together again there's a link to the patreon in the description or you can do exclamation patreon in the chat for the link and the second best way you can support financially by doing regular donations there's a link in the description to that as well or it's exclamation donate in the chat donations are the number one best way for you to do a one-off contribution um because your money goes the furthest and last but not least you can support the content financially over on youtube by doing super chats during the live stream by clicking the join button below the stream and becoming a youtube member also don't forget to join the discord it's the number one best way to make sure you don't miss any live streams or videos and i do stream on twitch and youtube at the same time so if you're watching on youtube and you would rather be watching it on Twitch. There is a link in the description to that as well. Thanks a lot. It was really fun, guys. Thanks so much. Raccoon, Duke, Loki, Bevo, Dynamics, Knack Demon, Cartoon Head, Old Guy, uh, KFXO. Thanks so much. I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, I really appreciate the support, guys. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to carry on with all playthroughs and then be jumping into speedrun content after that. Really excited for all the content that we've got planned. Um, but yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed the stream. I know I did. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more Elden Ring and Valheim. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.